Hello guys, welcome back to session 4 of Jenkins tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to delete or disable a job. Now sometimes what happens is, uh, the job that you have created has been failing since the last 4-5 builds or maybe even more. So what happens is you are not able to actually debug the issue that the job has. So maybe there is some coding issue, maybe there is some configuration issue due to which the build has been failing. So what we can do is, for the temporary basis, what I can do is, since I am not able to find the issue and all the builds that have been triggered as per the schedule I have said, have been failing, what I can do is, I can disable this job. Now how do I disable this job is, if you see, let's go back to the dashboard. This is your dashboard and as you can see, my second job has failed so many times that it's showing this symbol. The symbol, if you just hover the mouse on top of that symbol, it says that last four out of five builds have failed. Now this is a matter of concern. So what I'm, I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click on this job and I'm gonna disable it. So I'm gonna click it. And over here, you can see on the right hand side, below the add description option, there is a disable project button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that button and I'm going to disable the project. So you can see that a message has popped up stating that the project is currently disabled. So now even if the project was scheduled to be built every 15 minutes or every 6 hours or every midnight, doesn't matter what the schedule was, the project is not going to get built. So you don't need to worry. So you don't need to actually change the configuration. So the job remains the same. It's just that it won't be built. So if you go back to dashboard, you can see that there is a gray, gray ball instead of the red ball. So this represents that the job has been disabled. And you can see that on the right hand side, uh, for the first job, which has been not disabled, you can see that you have the option to schedule the build but for the second job that I just disabled there is no such option so as soon as I re-enable the job maybe I have fixed the issue with the code and now I want to re-enable the job and I'm sure that the job will not fail so I will click on enable and the project gets enabled we'll go back to the dashboard and see yes you can see that the schedule build button has been re-enabled and the current status of the jobs is shown as per the last build which had failed which is build number 5. So this is how you disable and enable a job. Now we are going to see how do you delete a job. Now you may have you know created a job and you might have done some misconfiguration or you might have actually uh, pulled in some wrong code anything like any reason can be there due to which instead of wasting time on rectifying the job what you can do is you can delete this job and recreate it. So how do we delete this job? So what we'll do is we'll click on the job that we want to delete. So from the dashboard click on the job that you want to delete. Over on over here, on the left hand side you can see that below the build now, there is a button for delete the deleting the project. So what I'll do is I'll click on delete project. Now it will ask for assurance that whether I'm sure that I want to delete. So I'll click on OK and the job gets deleted. So this is how you disable jobs and delete jobs in Jenkins. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.